the situation is significant, and the U.S. Central Command has directly issued a statement. On January 11, the U.S. Navy, near the Somali coast in the Arabian Sea, conducted a search operation on what appeared to be a civilian fishing vessel in Iran. Within the fishing boat, U.S. Navy SEALs, part of the Marine Corps, discovered components that caught their attention based on intelligence. This information comes directly from the Central Command. What did they find? Components of ballistic missiles and anti-ship missile systems. The U.S. Central Command officially released a statement today, January 16, detailing the operation that took place on January 11. Under the support of helicopters and drones, the U.S. Navy SEALs departed from the USS Lewis Puller, ESB-3, to board the fishing vessel. They confiscated components of Iranian-manufactured ballistic missiles and cruise missiles, including propulsion units, guidance systems, and warheads. As we've consistently highlighted at Loot Media, the Chinese Communist Party, CCP, excels at breaking down and decentralizing components, even locally producing crucial parts. This is another piece of evidence reinforcing this strategy. Transporting missiles is no longer about shipping a complete unit, as seen in the case of the Soviet Union delivering whole missiles to Cuba. With the CCP involved, it's about breaking down the components into smaller parts. This tactic is indeed formidable. Each time we discuss this, it becomes evident. Last year, we shared information about CCP contracts involving the decentralization of explosive materials and ammunition into smaller chemical products ready for assembly. This latest incident with the U.S. Central Command exposes the CCP's approach to decentralizing missile components. This revelation is a game-changer for international perceptions. Many foreigners, upon learning about this, are likely shocked. Transporting missiles doesn't require moving a large object. It can be as discreet as a pile of these components. Consider the audacity of the CCP's strategy. By transporting individual components, they can argue innocence if caught claiming it's just a single part and not a complete missile. This is the diplomatic approach advocated by Xi Jinping, surpassing the methods of the former Soviet Union's Communist International. Back then, the Soviets transported complete units, while now the CCP delivers individual parts, leaving foreign observers astonished. The U.S. Central Command's disclosure marks the first seizure of this kind of advanced ballistic missile and cruise missile transportation method from Iran. Unfortunately, this operation resulted in the disappearance of two Navy SEALs, likely engaged in combat during the mission. In the vastness of the sea, one can only imagine how many such fishing vessels are involved. Now one may question Iran's ability to produce such components. The reality is Iran lacks the capability for such precision machining. These sophisticated components involve high polymer materials, and Iran lacks both the materials and the advanced machining equipment due to international sanctions. Simultaneously, there is another significant development. Iran claimed yesterday to have targeted the Mossad headquarters in Iraq, specifically Al-Bailad, a wealthy Kurdish area, with 24 ballistic missiles. Crossing sovereign Iraqi territory, these missiles directly attacked the Kurdish stronghold. Videos and photos support these claims. Israeli War Room released information today, stating that these missiles are now in possession of Hezbollah. If these missiles carry heavy warheads, their effectiveness depends not only on their range and stealth but crucially on the advanced explosives they use. This recent bombing of Al-Bailad has left the U.S. extremely surprised, showcasing the presence of advanced explosives. These two events, combined, align with our consistent reporting on the CCP's research into a new, highly potent explosive developed by Nanjing University. This explosive, second only to nuclear weapons, has been a focus of CCP espionage within U.S. universities, yielding impressive results. The name of this explosive can be easily found online. Military intel is critical in understanding these developments. Without this new type of explosive, achieving the effectiveness of such bombings would be impossible. When the U.S. examines these components to determine the producer, you'll realize it's unequivocally the work of the Chinese Communist Party, CCP. Following the U.S. strikes on the Houthis, there has been discussion about the Houthis' resilience against attacks. The implication is that the CCP believes the U.S. can't blockade the Houthis, even with 50 warships. Others utilize fishing vessels, breaking down components into smaller parts. To put it bluntly, even if caught, it becomes challenging to intervene effectively. This time, intelligence might have been exceptionally accurate. If, for instance, they further refine the components in the next operation— making them even more intricate, catching and intervening would become even more challenging. 
Missiles consist of various components like resistors, capacitors, or chips, along with materials for processing and shaping. Transporting these components is all that is needed. So the core defense strategy is against what? It's against the explosive, against the chemical products. This is the crucial aspect. The CCP in 1999 synthesized the most potent nitrogen cation chain globally. Highly explosive and unstable, challenging to synthesize in large quantities at room temperature. Yet, the CCP with its agents in U.S. universities managed to steal and invest heavily in developing a stable form at Nanjing University. This explosive is second only to nuclear weapons. The world's most powerful and producible explosive, the full nitrogen anion chain, is the CCP secret. The CCP has mastered the technique and no other country globally possesses it. This explosive is used in solid rockets, surpassing the thrust of even the most potent liquid hydrogen engines. If you want to manufacture compact high-energy bombs or develop new rockets, this explosive is the key. This is why the CCP and its 093 nuclear submarines is developing vertically launched cruise missiles that can dive underwater to attack submarines known as cruise missile torpedoes. Cruise missiles need to be compact since they fly close to the sea surface, navigating various magnetic tapes to change direction. The technology for this originated from the CCP's theft of the U.S. full nitrogen cation chain technology in 2017. The CCP's approach, akin to virus research, involves stealing technology from the U.S., where defenses are lax. They infiltrate, steal, invest in experiments, and produce groundbreaking results. This full nitrogen anion chain is used extensively in solid rocket technology, and the CCP has mastered the production of this globally unparalleled explosive. It's been a consistent message. These technologies undoubtedly originate from the CCP. To put it plainly, Iran or others lack the capability to achieve this. The CCP, over the past few decades, stole U.S. technology, invested heavily, and emerged with these capabilities. The U.S. remains vigilant against Iran and Russia, knowing they cannot steal such advanced systems. No matter how much money is invested, Iran and Russia lack the R&D capabilities to match the U.S., which already developed these technologies. The same goes for virus research. The CCP steals technology from the U.S., such as gene modification techniques pioneered by Barrick. The U.S. has long possessed this technology, and the CCP invests money to create more nefarious entities. This is precisely how the full nitrogen anion chain was developed, an investment of funds on an existing U.S. technology base. Iran lacks this capability, and the CCP's strategic determination, as Xi Jinping mentions, is evident. The CCP is globally igniting the spark drawing U.S. aircraft carriers to specific locations and quietly transporting these components for a massive simultaneous launch. Military intel is paramount in understanding these developments. In summary, the recent revelation of Iranian missile components seized en route to Houthi rebels underscores the CCP's strategic influence, decentralized tactics, and advanced explosive technology. This intersection of geopolitical events sheds light on the global implications of military intelligence. Stay informed on Capture the Intelligence for more insights. If you found this video helpful, remember to like, share, and destroy that subscribe button. Also, stay tuned for the latest current affairs on the Capture the Intelligence channel. Military Intel Decoded